Hey guys, so today I just want to make a little bit of a video basically explaining how macro nutrition works and also going into the importance of it uh, in relation to you getting the body you want, getting from where you are now and getting that body that you desire. Now in a previous videos I've talked about how important a specific workout routine is because workout routines can have very different effects on your body depending on what you're doing and depending on what your goals are. So having a good workout structure is important, but even more so important is having a good diet structure. So I've packed out a whiteboard um, with a lot of information on here, um, but this information is vital and it's not as complicated as it looks. I'm just using this information to break it down into bite-sized chunks so that you can take this information away and maybe work on it yourself. So. First things to start with is understanding our macronutrients. Well, we have three basic macronutrients. These are proteins, carbs, and fats. And each one of these has what we consider to be a calorific value. So per gram, protein has four calories per gram, carbs have four calories per gram, and fat has nine calories per gram. Now, fat has, gets a bit of a bad, bad reputation simply because at nine calories per gram, it's more than double of these two. And so people think that's why eating fat makes you fat. That's a bit of an oversimplification. If you eat too much of any of these three, you will put on weight, you will become overweight. In fact, most people now, especially in the sports industry, in the fitness industry, what we've learned is that fat is actually what we consider to be a very calorie efficient food. I Meaning you don't need to eat a lot of it, you'll get a lot of calories and therefore a lot of energy. Very good if you're living an active lifestyle for a sportsman or an athlete of some sort. So, from here, we understand that each of these has a value. We also need to understand that every human being has a basal metabolic rate. Now, your basal metabolic rate is how many calories you will burn if you were to do no exercise at all during the day. If you were to lie in bed and do nothing, your body would burn a certain amount of calories just to stay alive. So, for me, mine is 1,955 calories. Now, this is worked out via a number of formulas. You can go online and find the, uh, a calculator that will do it for you. But your basal metabolic rate will become like that. It's based on your height, your age, your weight, and your gender. Um, so for me, it's 1,955 calories. But this isn't an accurate representation because how many of us actually stay in bed all day and do nothing? Unless we've got a serious medical condition, there's very few of us. Most of us are up and about doing our jobs, walking around, doing various things. So in actual fact, you have what's called a calorific need. So even though I'm a personal trainer, um, I'm in a fairly active lifestyle, uh, my calorific need realistically is 3,111 calories. Now, given that the government actually says that for blokes it's 2,500, you can see that my calorific need to maintain my current body state is significantly higher than that. But, given that I'm competing in June in a men's physique category, I'm trying to burn fat whilst maintaining muscle mass. I'm actually operating on a calorific need of 2,351, so I'm actually operating quite a bit lower than what my recommended calorific need would be. And this has helped me burn fat due to my um, active lifestyle, this is what I need to be eating. Now if I was to simply be eating 2,351 calories worth of food, yes, I would lose weight. But if I had no understanding of what I'm putting into my body, I would probably be losing more muscle mass than fat, and therefore the body I would be taking with me, would it be the body that I want? So I need to understand what my body needs and in what amount it needs. So for that, we end up creating this little pie chart here because for me to lose fat, uh, maintain muscle, um, the dietary principle I'm working with is the high fat, low carb principle. Now I'm not really going to go into exactly why that works right now, but it is working. Um, and maybe that's something I'll lead to a video later on. But for right now, this is the ratios that I'm working with. So in this pie chart here, you can see that 40% of my diet is fat, 35% of my diet is protein, and 25% of my diet is carbohydrates. So with that, 40% of my diet, that means I can have 105 grams of uh, fat, 205 grams of protein, and 146 grams of carbohydrates. Now, Knowing that amount means I can plan my diet. It means I can track my food easier, I can, keep, make, I can monitor what I'm eating, and therefore I'm very good at seeing what goes into my system. There are great apps out there that can help you do this. You can use apps like MyFitnessPal or various other things you can use in the iTunes or Google Play Store. Loads of apps out there that can help you with that, with monitoring what you're eating. 
Um, however, they usually give you a very textbook thing, so you need to really understand what you want and then try to apply yours to those apps. Just bear that in mind. So, we've got the information there of what I can have. Now, how did I get these particular values? Well, there's a good mathematical formula, a very simple formula, um, which I'll explain to you right now. So, to get 146 grams of carbohydrates, 205 grams of protein, and 105 grams of uh, fat, what you can see is I've got a little formula down here. Now, this won't mean anything to you guys at the moment, but I'm going to explain it to you. So, I've got my calorific needs percentage. So, of this, I need to understand what 40% of 2,351 is. So, I do 40% of 2,351 gives me a value. I then divide that 40% by the 9 calories per gram, and that gives me the total amount of the macro I can have for that particular segment. Now, as before, when I mentioned that fat is 9 calories per gram, very calorie efficient. So, as you can see, I don't have to eat a huge amount of fat, but it's going to give me a huge chunk of that energy that I need for the day. Then also, protein, same process again. 35% of 2,351 goes in there. Divide that by 4, gives me 205 grams. Now, understanding this principle helps me work out exactly how much of this food I can have. This means I don't need to restrict my diet. It means I can enjoy the foods I want to have. I mean, last night I had a wonderful diced turkey in a tomato and double cream homemade sauce with rice, mixed vegetables. But you can open that up. You can have so many other meal options. It's not restricting you. It's about understanding what your body needs. I mean, in the morning, I had a protein scoop into my whole grain porridge oats. I had, at lunch, two, uh, two poached eggs and whole milk toast. For snack in the evening, I actually made myself homemade protein pancakes. I may put the recipe up later on because it's very simple, very easy to use, and also very cheap. So, all this information is designed really to help you understand how macronutrients work. So, because I know exactly what I need to get from each of these macros, exactly how much fat, carb, and protein, I know, I know full well that if I maintain that with my current workout regime, I'm going to get the body that I want. I'm going to get the figure that I want. I'm going to get in the time frame that I want because I can structure it out in all those ways. I mean, if I want to put weight on, I can change it again. This would increase dramatically. It would probably go over way over 3,000 calories. And I'd probably be changing the ratio. So it would probably be something like 40% carb, 40% protein, 20% fat. And then from there, I can use this formula here against those values there to give me new grams. And they know exactly how much I need to eat versus my workout routine to give me the body I want there. So hopefully this little um, video has shown you or give you at least a glimpse of how macronutrients work. And if you guys need any help whatsoever, please leave a comment down below in the section down there, or feel free to send me a direct message, and I will do my very best to get back to you. Or we can work some, or I can work with you and help you with your own macronutrition and help you learn how to work this formula out for yourself to get the body that you want. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope this helps.